Now with open source copilot for GitHub, which is called PR Pilot, you can automate lots of your development progress that you made with Git. For example, you can automate opening pull requests, make changes automatically on fly when you edit your files or even edit your GitHub issues or resolve them through searching web without you doing any interaction and let LLM backed solution called PR Pilot have that done for you. Then let's go. start make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video thank you all right so what is PR pilot now think about it usually when you want to open a pull request make some changes in your github repository or you open a github issue you sort of need to do that manually when you have your code already you need to create a pull request and send it all to your repo now here you will have an AI based assistant that can automate all this process for you so let's make it a little bit more clear. If you go to the capabilities of PR Pilot, you can technically just chat with like a co-pilot for your GitHub repositories to ask, for example, creating a pull request or making some changes in your pull request. Or if there's a GitHub issue open, it will actually search that code, search that issue for you, even browse web to find answers for those issue or pull requests or if it finds an answer it will open a pull request and resolve that for you so technically here in capabilities section you will see an overview of all the stuff that you can do with PR pilot with some specific challenges namely if you have large large files it might have some issues to deal with large files because obviously on backend there's an LLM which is using GPT-4 to support you so it's not just finishing there I'm gonna show you actually demo quickly and how you can install that but let's slightly talk a little bit more about PR pilot first of all you can not only have that run locally and interact with github but it has also inter inter integration with other providers as well for example with slack you can call pr pilot from there for example open a pull request or get the list of open pull requests open github issues all in the slack get the result of that and check the status again on the slack or get that integrated with linear for tracking as a, as a tracking tool so on and so forth i'll show you the list of interactions shortly and lastly it has a dashboard pr pilot by itself has a dashboard to show you any task that you initiate by calling pr pilot for example if you made a, diff a change in a file or you open a pull request or you open a github issue or resolve or comment a github issue it will all be tracked so you can later on come and check that out now lastly yes it is open source you can have it free deployed on your local let's say Kubernetes clusters or you can go with let's say as a github user this is what i did actually and it started 500 free credits which i used that to show you this quick demo but obviously you can have that installed on your local environment as well now in case you might think that okay what's the difference of this with github copilot here's by the author mentioning five bullet points about what's the difference or proposed value of pr pilot versus microsoft github copilot so firstly you're saying that it it can let you have your clean repository because you can have the code changes in a separate branch by using pr pilot you are in control that means obviously llm or copilot can make mistakes but with pr pilot given that it's open source you can even modify the prompts for any task that you initiate which you will have more control from the development of this tool not necessarily the application point of this tool and some other stuff for example you can have collaboration you can have uh, pr pilot run anywhere if you use microsoft github copilot you don't have necessarily the chance of um, knowing where i need to deploy this or, or, or redeploying that by yourself so here by using pr pilot you can even run it locally for free and running that but otherwise if you want to run other versions which i just told you here it's going to be running on cloud so be cautious about that and this is actually what i'm going to do for the demo now in order to install this again i will add the code reference code and installation process all the stuff uh to the discord channel and if you click on this code channel link which is under view description here you will go there and there's a section called reference section you click on that reference section in discord channel you will see the link 
for getting to PR Pilot. So you just need to simply install pip install PR Pilot CLI or Ubuntu. You can run this command as needed. And by the way, uh, installing this is not enough. You also need to make sure that you add PR Pilot as an application to a repository. So again, I will add this link. You can click on add PR Pilot. It will ask you to authenticate your GitHub and asking you which repository of your GitHub repo you want to have PR Pilot installed, whether all of them or just one of them. And then you do that pip install I showed you. And then technically you're done. Here's what you need to do. As you can see, I already gave permission to PR Pilot to be installed in my GitHub repo. And it says that just one hour ago it got installed. This is actually the setting of my GitHub uh, account. And I just gave access to all repositories for this quick test. And the permissions that it needs is just read access and read and write access to the code issues pull request because you obviously want to interact with the repository through PR Pilot. And again, you can provide access to just one specific repository and have this also all PR Pilot solution deployed in your own local environment. Okay, so after doing all this installation, what you need to do is just need to simply open your terminal. Let me switch my screen, open my VS Code, and here's the terminal that I have open. I'm not going to do pip install again because I already did, but you, I can just type pilot to start interacting with PR pilot after doing that pip install. When you run any P pilot task for the first time, it might ask you to authenticate again uh, to your GitHub, and it will give you uh, the dashboard link of checking out the status of your credit, all the tasks that you have executed with PR Pilot, which I'm going to show you that quickly. So, for running any pilot task and to start, you need to have a key generated. That's why, it, again, it will ask you for uh, login first and it will give you that key from the dashboard. So, let me show you how I did that shortly. All right, here's the dashboard. If you just type app.pr-pilot.ai slash dashboard, you will get access to your dashboard and you log in with your GitHub that you gave access to PR Pilot. And you can see the list of the tasks I ran with PR Pilot. Uh, I was testing that before I record this video. And if I click on API keys, you will see that given that I gave access to all the repositories that I had, so it generated all these keys, you can evoke or create one as needed. And I can check the status of my credits, given that it's not running it locally, so I am using my free credits for uh, testing this for you. And in the integration section, I told you a Slack, Linear, Sentry, these are just a couple of interactions and some it seems to be soon coming in. So FYI, here's a section that gives you more information about integrating PR Pilot with other tools. Okay, so getting back to my terminal, now I got the key, and by the way, where do you need to add this? There's a file called, okay, let me show you that file. Here it is. The place that you install this PR Pilot usually goes under user uh, and username that you have in your drive C. You will see a YAML file .pr pilot. So if you open this YAML file, this is what you will see. You have to put the API key and the default repo that you want to use PR Pilot with. So as you can see, I have a public repository called Custom ChatGPT. Let me show you that quickly. Here it is that I recorded a video about this before that how you can create something like similar to ChatGPT but customize in your own way and deploy that locally as you need. So I'm not going to go through this repo. I'm just using this as an example. As you can see here, it's a very, very, very simple repository. There's just a bunch of files here and I don't have any open pull requests or issues yet, but I'm going to start interacting with this using PR Pilot. So the very first sample that I'm going to run is, let's say, let's say, let's see what this repo is about with asking through Pilot space task and here's my task with just a natural language you can start talking with it so tell me more about this project and given that i have added this project link in the yaml file i told you so it knows what project i'm talking about and i have already given permission to my github repo so let's see what's gonna be the answer of that task so now you see there's a task created that's why if i go to my dashboard and under task logs there should be one created which says running and actually this is the one for Provide, pro provide project overview and description and if I click on it it will give me the answer actually which is completed and also the answer is here in my CLI that says that oh that's a project designed to help users set up a custom instance of chat GPT using Docker natural service which is absolutely correct and even here in this dashboard that I have 
you can see it beautifully actually formatted the answer much better than terminal and it gave me a list of actions it did to, to clone and understand what's going on and the amount of credits that was being used by the model name GPT-40 on backend. All right, perfect. So this was just a simple start. Let's say now I want to make some changes in that repo. I want to actually edit the readme file in, inside this repo to add emojis to all headers. Obviously, if I do it as a, as a human manually, I'm going to make the changes, open a pull request, and someone need to approve. So what I'm doing right now in just under a minute, I am aut automating all this process with just typing that in a natural language. And let's see if the task is coming into my dashboard. The task is here, as you can see. Oh, not here. Let me refresh. There you go. It's here. Completed here this computer as well. It says that okay. I have added emojis to all headers in the readme file The changes have been committed Successfully that means there should be potentially pull requests open in my repo. So let's check that out together There you go Add emojis to all headers in readme file. So I'm opening this and As you can see the PR pilot is talking to me and I can actually write a com uh, comment with just typing uh, PR pilot slash to talk with the bot emitted right now and ask for uh, further changes. So I can merge pull request, but before I want to see what changes it is proposing. So if I go to the file change, as you can see, it is beautifully adding these emojis at the header of my readme in this repository, which is perfect. Now let's run another test. I want to open a GitHub issue here. Let's say I want to open an issue, say, hard to understand so what does that mean I am trying to say that this readme file that I have added in this github repository it's not clear it's not very well written so it is hard to understand I need to add some more examples more references that how people can let's say, install docker for running this repo so I'm adding this uh, explanation although I can do that with product as well but just show you typically someone It'll open a GitHub issue here, and as you can see, it is open. Now I want to ask um, GitHub, uh, PR Pilot to actually check out the list of my open GitHub issues and check the last one, which I just created, and resolve that for me. So I have a task that I say that, hey, Pilot, check the latest open GitHub issue and resolve it. So let's see. I hit enter. If I go to my dashboard, I should see this new task getting generated or oh, it's still running and as you can see it is getting executed all right in almost around 32 seconds it finished the task and it told me that okay i went through that the latest open issue number five is regarding the clarity of readme file which has been resolved because i told that add some more reference examples from internet that readme files will make it more clear for the users to understand that means there should be another open pull request. So if I go to my GitHub repo, and you see that was the issue, and you see the issue got improved by a readme, uh, better readme file in an open pull request. And there you go. So I want to see what changes it made by adding this. I go to file changes. So here's my original readme file. And as you can see on the right side, it is giving me some better explanations, even some potential videos I can add here, and also a reference link on internet about installing Docker and Azure CLI for stuff, so which is perfect. And you can see much more explanations has been added. All right. This was just a very quick overview about PR Pilot. Check out the user guide. Uh, they have already added much more explanations about different ways that you can interact with PR Pilot. I just show you through CLI. You can through, do that directly from GitHub. Also, they have the um, REST API call or Python SDK that you can even from uh, your Python code add your pilot task, which I added in that CLI terminal, and then just specify your repo and execute the results just do the test that I did simply through a Python code or using a REST API and here's a curl example that you can provide and even you can talk with pilot bot here directly in github for example for making more changes just call pilot imagine like you have a 
bot that is actually working for you there you can also undo the changes as needed all right i hope you enjoyed this video if yes i would be very thankful if you like the video and of course write your questions comments or share your thoughts with community through writing them down in the comment section thank you